Hi everyone, it's Laura, Laura the Bargain Hunter. <laughs> uh, welcome to Mask Monday. I've got my jade roller. Um, because I can't pause video, I started, I put this on before I started recording because it has to be on for like 15 to 20 minutes and I don't want, hopefully this video won't be that long. I am using this Perlis Matcha Green Tea face sheet mask um, that Kim from Kimmy's Boxes sent me. And it was very cold when I first put it on, but it feels pretty good. Oh, I think a little corner up here is tucked under. There we go. And while I'm doing this, I was challenged by Mary from Mary Catherine Loves Cats to do the TMI challenge. So I went, watched her video and wrote down the questions. So I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can. Question number one is, what are you wearing? I am wearing one of my finest t-shirts. It's Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> I'm recording this on Sunday, and I've been just doing stuff around the house all day. Um, put up our Christmas decorations, so I'm just uh, relaxing in my Beavis and Butthead shirt. This is messed up, too. I'm just going to leave it, though. Um, have you ever been in love? Yes. I am very much in love with my husband. He is the love of my life. Um, have you ever had a bad breakup? Yes, a couple of them. How tall are you? Five, six and a half-ish. Um, how much do you weigh? None of your business. I think that's a horrible question, and it's not even TMI. Honestly, I'm at a healthy weight for my height, and I'm very happy, um, but I struggled with year for years with my weight, and I think that question is triggering for a lot of people, and you're Worth is not determined by the number on the scale. So that's all I have to say about that. Um, do you have tattoos? Hopefully my mother doesn't watch my YouTube videos. I do, I have two. And yes, I'm in my 40s and I still don't want my mom to know because she'd freak out. Um, I have Marvin the Martian, who's a cartoon character from the Looney Tunes, on my lower back that I got when I was in my 20s and thought it was funny. I still think it's funny, actually. I don't have regrets about stuff like that. It's because I can hide it if I don't want someone to see it. And then the other one I have is on my hip, um, and it's a runner girl. And if, if you Google it, you'll see Google images. But it's basically like a kind of a cartoon character-ish looking of a girl running. And it was um, on one of my many fitness um, journeys over the years. I had gotten that when I was really into running. Unfortunately, I can't run anymore because I have very bad knees. Um, do you have any piercings? I have three piercings in each ear. I only wear one on the first hole. And I had my navel pierced when I was also in my 20s. Got infected, took it out, got it re-pierced, and it got infected again. So <laughs> um, there's just a little spot there though. It's not like a big scar or anything. So I no regrets about that either. Um, Favorite fictional pair? I don't know. Um, Thelma and Louise, maybe? Tom and Jerry? Bugs and Daffy? Something like that. Um, favorite TV show? If I had to name like a current show, I'd probably say This Is Us. Um, one of my all-time favorite shows was ER. I loved that. Friends. Um, favorite band? Probably The Beatles. I know that's kind of an easy answer, but it's true. I love all things Beatles. Um, something I miss, being able to go places and not have to worry about, you know, wearing a mask or if other people are wearing their mask and staying away from people and just going to do stuff and not having a care in the world. You know what I mean? Um, I miss that. Favorite song? Um, probably, I, I can't pick one. Um, your song by Elton John, Maybe I'm Amazed. I love that one. Um, current, like our more recent songs would be Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. That was our wedding song, so that's a favorite. I also love Lionel Richie. I know a lot of people think he's corny, but I don't care. Um, you Are by Lionel Richie is one of my favorites. Such a sweet song. How old are you? I am 48. Zodiac sign, Taurus. Best quality in a partner. Um, honesty and sense of humor. Those are tied for me. Favorite quote? Um, I'm not one for like inspirational and motivational quotes and stuff like that. But one of my favorite movie quotes is from Steel Magnolias. Um, 
Dolly Parton's character says about another um, character in the movie that he was so confused he doesn't know whether to scratch his watch or wind his butt. And I just think that's hilarious. And I actually quote that a lot. Um, but I don't know if that's my all-time favorite quote, but that's just kind of like the first thing that popped into my head. Um, favorite actor all-time would probably be maybe Jimmy Stewart, or more recent would be either Tom Hanks or Denzel Washington. I love them both. Favorite color is definitely purple. Loud music or soft music? If I'm alone in my car, or even with my husband in the car, loud. We like to crank it up sometimes. Um, you know, just for driving. I used to drive a lot um, for my job. I would travel to Texas and I had like a two hour drive um, from the airport to where I was visiting and I would crank up the tunes in the car. Um, so I'd say loud. Um, where do I go when I'm sad? I don't know. Home, I guess? Bed? Not sure. How long do I take in the shower? Depends on whether I'm shaving my legs or not. That takes forever. So maybe 10, 15 minutes, something like that. How long do you take to get ready in the morning? In the summer, probably only like 30 minutes, maybe 45 tops. The winter takes longer because I dry my hair. In the summer, I let it air dry, so probably 45 minutes to an hour. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Not really. When I was really young, me and my best friend kind of swung at each other, but we didn't connect. <laughs> so I'm not a fighter. Um, you know, if someone were to hurt my family, that would be different, but no. Um, your favorite turn on? Uh, I don't know. I, I like when someone can make me laugh. Turn off? Arrogance. 100% cannot stand cocky people. Self-confidence is one thing. Self-confidence is sexy, but arrogance was a major, major turnoff for me. Um, the reason I joined YouTube, um, I've enjoyed watching YouTube videos for years, and when my friend Kim started her channel, you know, I'm friends with her from years ago and used to watch her unboxing videos on Facebook, and then when she started YouTube, I started watching them there, and then she would do her shout outs and I'd start following more and more people and then I thought, hey, I could do that. I, I used to do subscription boxes and I hadn't gotten any for well, probably a little over a year so I ordered a couple and started my channel. Um, and it wasn't just for unboxing too. I mean, I like doing hauls and stuff and I've always been a thrifty shopper so I thought it could be fun. And with us, you know, with COVID, I'm not going anywhere so I needed something to kind of amuse myself. I mean, other than work, I go to work, but anyway. Um, what are my fears? Definitely heights. Um, I can fly out without being too afraid, which is weird, I know. Um, don't like driving over bridges, but I'll do it. Um, and I don't like confined spaces either. The last thing that made me cry, I was worried about my dad last week. Um, he's okay, but I was crying. Um, the last time I said I love you, I just said it to my husband, like, I don't know. We say it multiple, multiple times a day. He went to the store to get something really quick, and I told him before he left. Um, and we say it every night before we go to bed. I say it when I go to work. I mean, we say it often. The meaning behind my YouTube name, I think it's kind of obvious. I like to hunt for bargains. <laughs> I like to go to resale shops and hunt through clearance racks, and that's just my jam what I do for fun. Um, the last book you've read, um, I think it was Before We Were Yours. If you're not familiar, you should look it up. It's really good. If you don't mind a serious book and it's uh, historical, um, based on a true story. It's like based on a true story, yet it's fiction, if that makes sense. It's really, really good. Um, book you're currently reading, um, nothing at the moment. But I am going to start like a romance novel. I need something fun and lighthearted. So I'm going to start something new soon. The last show I watched, um, it's Sunday. So we were watching football. The Packers game is on right now. I snuck up here to do this real quick. Um, but other than that, we watched, um, I watched an episode of Hometown that I had saved on the DVR because I just love that show. Um, last person I talked to was my husband. The last text I sent into who, I'm sure it was to my husband. Um, I text him often. Favorite food? 
probably um, probably like tacos. I love Mexican food. Last place I visited. So I'm assuming that means like somewhere not in your town and not like just going to the store. So that would be Port Washington, Wisconsin. Um, it's a uh, like a resort town on Lake Michigan and we went there for our five-year anniversary just in October. Um, I was so paranoid about COVID. I brought like a can of Lysol and um, disinfecting wipes and I like disinfected the whole room um, and it was fine. Thank God we were, we were safe, but we just went up there for a long weekend and it was wonderful. We had a great time. So um, the last place I went to uh, yesterday, we went over to check on my dad and he was fine, but I had to change his bandage because he had burned his foot for those who don't know the story. My dad burned his foot making popcorn. He spilled hot oil on his foot. <laughs> Didn't tell anybody for a week and then said, can you come look at my foot? I think it's infected. And it was. Anyway, he's okay. Um, but someone has to come help him change the bandage, so my brother and I are taking turns. And so that was the last place I went. Um, we went shopping earlier in the day and then went to check on my dad last night. So, um, crush. I don't have a crush. I mean, other than my husband. Love him with all my heart. Um, yeah. Last kiss I have given. Actually, it might have been my dog. <laughs> She's my sweet girl, my little cocoa bean. Um, she has so many nicknames. Her name is Coco, like the chocolate, because she's brown. But we call her Coco. We call her Coco Bean, Bean Bean, Beaners. And she gives lots of kisses, and I give her kisses too. Um, so it was either her or my husband. Um, the last time I was insulted, someone on Facebook tried to bait me into getting into a debate about something and called me a sheep. And I'm not going there. So I didn't, I didn't engage, um, but tried to insult me. Um, but yeah, that's probably the last one. I'm sure this is coming up on our, sorry, this is slipping, on our busy time at, at my job, and I'm sure I'll get insulted over the phone this week. <laughs> Not really looking forward to that, but anyway, I try to let it roll off of me. Um, favorite flavor of sweets? Probably something fruity. Do you play an instrument? Sort of. I did. Um, I played piano in grade school um, and then starting in middle school I through high school and college I played the viola um, I still have a viola I just don't really play it but I mean I, I could play a few things I would think it would come back to me um, it's not as easy as riding a bike it wouldn't be that simple but I could play something like easy on it I'm sure if I had to um, favorite piece of jewelry would be my engagement ring um, not to show it off but there it is um, it's an emerald. It's my birthstone. It's what I always wanted. Um, it goes back to a Princess Diana thing. She has the sapphire um, surrounded by diamonds. And, well, the Duchess Kate has it now. Um, but when I was a little girl, I just loved all things Princess Diana. I just adored her. My mom and I got up early in the morning to watch the royal wedding when she got married. And so it's a whole thing. And ever since I was a little girl, I always said, when I get married or when I get engaged, I want a, a ring like that, but I want it to be my birthstone. And so I told my husband that's what I wanted and that's what I got. So it's my favorite. Most of my jewelry is just fun, like costume jewelry, but I never really take it off except to clean it. Um, the last sport you played, uh, I don't know, is bowling a sport? Although I haven't done that in forever either. Um, my husband and I go mini golfing sometimes. Does that count? Uh, and he t he's trying, was trying to teach us, or teach me, um, how to hit a baseball. So there's, I took some video, I posted it to, um, to my Facebook page, oh, like way earlier during the quarantine, like probably back in March or April. Um, I was hitting it off of a tee. <laughs> I'm terrible. Um... Favorite chat up line. So I had to Google that. It, it means pickup line. Um, so I don't have one and I don't think that they work. And my husband didn't use a pickup line on me. We met online um, through match.com actually. One of those success stories. So anyway, but even when I was single and we would hang out, that they never worked for me. I think they're corny. Um, the last song I sang, I don't remember. 
Um, we were probably watching TV and I was singing along with something. I can't sing. I have a terrible singing voice, but I do sing. I'll sing along with stuff. I don't care if anyone can hear me. Actually, I might have been singing some Christmas stuff when we were putting up our decorations. Um, and then the last question is the last time I hung out. I couldn't even tell you because of COVID. Um, I mean, I saw my parents and my brother for Thanksgiving, but we haven't been to any friends' houses. No one's been to our house other than our niece brought over the baby a couple times, but that's it. Um, I'm going to take this off. So that is the end of the TMI questions. So now I'm just going to rub in the serum. It's really nice. Thank you, Kim. This feels really good. I'm supposed to put moisturizer on afterwards, but my face is actually still kind of, I don't want to say sticky, but very moist. So I'm going to wait till this dries. And then I'm going to put on, she sent me this too, Perlis, um Watermelon something. Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm Lotion. So I'm going to put that on once this mask dries. It feels really good though. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Ooh, I'm like really shiny. It's good. I'm glowing. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and kind of getting to know me a little bit better. Um, I'm expecting a box sometime. I talked about this in my last video from Ice Cream, Ice Cream Beauty. I don't know when it's coming, so I'll have an unboxing video for that eventually. Hopefully it'll come this week. And I did a video with some of my Christmas decorations, so I'm going to post that in a couple of days. So watch for that. Um, if you don't already subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow my viewers. I, last I looked, I think I have 66. So that's kind of exciting. I've only been doing this like a month. Um, and like this video and thank you so much. Everybody stay safe and healthy and we'll see you soon.